So let's discuss the next part of the topic in uh, periodic table. That is, today we are going to discuss something about the uh, exercise. Few questions we are going to discuss in the periodic table. In that, let me take one small exercise. That is, exercise. If you take, that is, y third period. Third period in periodic table has only eight elements. Has only eight elements. This we can answer it. The solution for this question is we can answer the question from according to Mueller's Mueller's diagram. Miller's diagram based on increasing order, increasing order of energy of energy of orbitals. We can take one s, one s, two s, two p, three s, three p. 4s, 4s, uh, 4s 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d, 5p, 6s, 4f, 5p, uh, 5d, and 6p again 7s 7s 5f 5d 4f uh, this is 5s 4d 5p 6s 4f 5d this is 5f 6d 6d and uh, 7p So what you are noticing here is like uh, if you take this is the first period this corresponds to first period first period this corresponds to second period this corresponds to third period this corresponds to fourth period and this corresponds to fifth period fifth period and the sixth period corresponds to okay 4f orbitals and uh, seventh period so in the first period in the first period we have two electrons which corresponds to two elements in the second period it corresponds to eight electrons with eight elements third period again eight electrons with eight elements again fourth period corresponds to 18 electrons with the 18 elements again fifth period corresponds to 18 electrons with the 18 elements 32 electrons with the 32 elements and of course seventh period incomplete electrons incomplete of course seventh period also 32 electrons okay but with the incomplete elements so what you are noticing is in the third period if you take you apply the formula second and third period if you carefully observe you find that in the second period and in the third period the number of elements which are to be assigned are one and the same this is because actually the elements are divided into the elements are in the form of blocks 
the elements if they are blocks suppose if i go to the orbital picture of the uh, atom or, or an element you take nucleus first shell second shell third shell fourth shell fifth shell and so on this is like uh, particularly first shell contains s orbital second shell contains sp third contains sp d fourth contains sp d and f s p d f and g that means here we are filling two electrons here we have two s orbital can accommodate two electrons p orbital can accommodate six electrons two six ten again two six ten fourteen again two six ten fourteen okay and so on so here what is happening is this is if this is one two three four five fifth shell for first shell number of electrons are two electrons next second shell eight electrons third shell 18 electrons and the fourth shell uh, again uh, 18 fourth shell 32 electrons and fifth shell greater than 32 electrons fifth shell is greater than 32 electrons now here we are what what we are doing is just we are trying to take this in the form of blocks this is second and third period contains only eight elements the reason is the reason is very simple because it is a short period and one reason it has short period it involves it involves only involves only s and uh, p orbital a maximum of s and p orbitals s and p orbitals a maximum of six, eight electrons can be accommodated between s and p orbital that is why the third period elements has only eight elements with its eight electrons that is two electrons in the s orbital and PR, uh, six electrons in the p orbital if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus